Hello, my name is Sam, and today I will be teaching you how to play The Last of Us on RPCS3 uh, version 14.11754. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to download. Select previous build. And you're going to have to go to the 14 section until you find the 141174. One one seven five four, excuse me. Right here. So you want to click the little window button to download. After you download, you want to extract it somewhere on your uh, hard drive. After you extract it, Open it, check both, continue, okay, select no, because you don't want to update the version that you just downloaded, you want to use uh, the version that you want, not the updated version for this. Um, now you want to add your firmware, I use firmware 482. But uh, I'm sure that the newest firmware should work for this also. But I just prefer to always use 482. It seems to always work. And select yes. It's going to tell you the newest one. Uh, but you want to use the one that you want to use, not what they want you to use. All right, so after that, and excuse me for all of the pop-ups, um, after that, it's a couple of things you have to do in order to get The Last of Us to run properly. I picked this 14.1175 version because it was able to play the cutscene uh, smoother than the older uh, version. Uh, and it was also uh, better at uh, not crashing, <laughs> even though they were pretty much all crashing. So in this how-to, I'm going to show you which firmware I use because I went through and selected different firmware that uh, would stop the game from crashing in different areas. So little things like the flashlight actually does work uh, when you shine it on something, which I will leave a video after the how-to showing uh, the game not crashing. All right, so after you've installed your firmware, you want to add the game. Okay, I might have did something wrong there. Try this again. After that, you want to update this to the newest version. Uh, 
as you see, it says update available. To do this, this is why I have my Discord up. You have to go to the PS3, um, and you have to go to Box Sound, and then what you do, let's see, download. You want to right click on the game, copy serial. Paste. Copy this whole uh, line, uh, letter for letter, number for number. Uh, it's exclamation point PSN check update B C E S zero one five eight four. All right, so copy that. Paste that right inside of the message hashtag or number bot uh, dash spam and hit enter okay after that you want to click on this and you'll be able to download it i already downloaded it so i don't need it uh, but i'm gonna close my well, actually i'm gonna keep my discord up but I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the package. That's the last of the text. Okay, now you can see it's updated. That's very important uh, for this game to work. Okay, next you want to create custom config, uh, save it, go into the GUI config, show the debug tab, so select true, Okay, next, after you did that, you want to let's see, open custom config folder, and then you want to open this with notepad. Okay, let's see what I just did. Okay, make sure your config looks like this so we're going to put the LL VM Java mode handling the true now you want to select the accurate RSX uh, reservation access and make that true. Okay, now save and close the file. Next, you want to select everything that I have selected on this one. Let's see, Mega, GPU, Vulcan, 60, Auto, Async, Write, 1, 200. This is what I prefer. The audio, I use OpenAL. Around system advanced debug. Okay, I will make another video to finish this. 